Without the invention of cement and its production process, our modern skyscrapers would be impossible. Cement's journey starts in the quarry. Workers dig out limestone and clay, mix them in precise ratios, and send the mix into a giant crusher where it's broken into small pieces. These pieces are carried by conveyor belts to a storage yard. Machines move back and forth overhead, spreading the material in layers to keep the mix stable and even. Next is grinding. The material goes into a huge ball mill filled with steel balls. As it rotates, the balls crush the rock into fine powder called raw meal. The raw meal is then sent into a tall preheater tower where it's heated by hot exhaust gas from the kiln below. The temperature rises to several hundred degrees Celsius to prepare it for burning. The key step is the rotary kiln. Raw meal slowly enters one end of the kiln and goes through heating, decomposition, and sintering. Inside, the temperature can reach nearly 1,500 degrees Celsius, turning the powder into hard pellets called clinker. The hot clinker is quickly cooled to protect its structure, then stored in silos. Finally, the clinker is ground into cement. It goes into a second ball mill, where a small amount of fly ash, iron powder, and gypsum is added to adjust performance and setting time. The ground material passes through a separator. Coarse particles go back for more grinding, and only the fine powder becomes finished cement. After this whole process, bag after bag of standard cement rolls off the line, ready to be shipped out and used on construction sites around the world.